guys welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at the AOC 24 G2. By the way props to AOC for keeping the name short and simple cause who likes those stupid long names that takes 10 hours to pronounce. Anyway coming to the point, I feel like there has never really been a solid sub $200 monitor which ticks all the boxes and feels like a complete package until AOC released this bad boy. Uh, we are going to be taking a look at all aspects of this monitor so be sure to stay till the end. Ok firstly, let us talk about the design and build quality. The build quality is solid. Even though all the parts are plastic, they feel durable and heavy. The stand feels solid and does not have any wobbly or shaky parts to it. I mean you're getting what you're paying for, I don't really have any complaints over here. Coming to the design aspect, AOC has made some pretty interesting choices. Firstly, the display is bezel-less and a lot of its competition overlooks this feature and it makes the monitor look more 2020-ish and less like that old computer at your grandma's place. There is a little chin showing the AOC logo too at the bottom. Apart from the red accents on the chin and on the stand, the design itself is pretty low key and minimal. The stand has this V-shaped thing going for it, it doesn't really look bad but it does take some space on the table. At the back of this monitor, there is a red strip on the stand and two V-shaped red accents. I don't really know what to call it. I mean it's in the back of this device so it shouldn't really bother you that much. There are four ways of adjusting the monitor. You can adjust its height, you can swivel it, tilt it and rotate it from landscape to portrait and vice versa. And of course the monitor also supports a visa mount. For IO we are looking at a decent selection. We have two HDMI ports, one display port and a VGA port for those people living under a rock. There is also an audio port for connecting headphones or speakers. There are no speakers on the monitor but the other version of this monitor, the AOC 24 g 2 u does have it. I seemingly just cannot find that model anywhere on the US market. I think that model is region specific but I'm not really sure. I don't complain that this monitor does not have any speakers because built in speakers are bound to be pretty trash anyway. But it would be nice if they included this feature for times that we don't have speakers instead of making two separate models. Now before we proceed with the video, we are announcing a giveaway on this channel. We are giving away an iPad Air to a subscriber who is part of the channel. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment FLOOR GANG in the comment section down below. We will announce the winners in the next video. I mean there is a pretty high chance that you'll be able to win the giveaway cause you know, we don't have that many subscribers so subscribe god damn it. Anyway on with the video. Ok now let's come to the main part of this device, the display. The monitor has a 24 inch 1920 by 1080p display. It's IPS and of course supports 144Hz refresh rate. It also has a 1ms response time and supports both AMD FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync. Overall this display is simply excellent. It has great color variety. The monitor comprehensively covers the sRGB color space with a fair amount of extension beyond. It had a 92% DCI-P3 color space coverage and the monitor also covered 87% of the Adobe RGB color space. This color gamut gives the monitor the potential to output all shades within the sRGB color space with an extra dose of vibrancy and saturation. It also has very good black levels for an IPS panel and I had no backlight bleeding in my monitor. The 24 inch panel is the perfect size to clarity ratio for a 1080p monitor. This monitor does not get very bright, maxing out at about 350 nits when calibrated but it is more than enough for the average user. The screen has a matte finish so reflections won't be a problem. This panel has support for low frame rate compensation. This basically means that you won't notice any screen tearing or smearing uh, when a game runs in low frame rates. Combined with the support of AMD FreeSync or NVIDIA G-Sync, this allows for a smooth gaming experience across all frame rates. Uh, we have three overdrive modes in this monitor, low, medium and high. With the overdrive switched off, you still get a decent response time at 8.21 milliseconds. With the overdrive mode set to medium, you get a pretty good response time of 6.55 milliseconds. However, if you want to get the best experience out of this monitor, I would highly recommend choosing the strong overdrive mode. It has an excellent response time of 4.36 milliseconds and there is little to no smearing or overshoot when in this mode. There might be some ghosting or overshoot when your FPS dips below 60Hz and during that time, you can change your overdrive to medium for optimal performance. Being an IPS monitor, it has pretty good viewing angles, especially compared to the VA and TN monitors in this price range. The menu buttons are on the bottom of the monitor, in the chin. It's a little bit different to navigate across the menus compared to other monitors, but you will get used to it very quickly. With all that being said, I think the best part about this monitor is absolutely its price. 
Being less than $200, it's simply unbeatable by its competitors. Usually, IPS monitors with 144Hz refresh rate are a good $75 to $100 more than the TN or VA counterparts, and the fact that AOC is able to deliver such performance and quality at this price range just undeniably makes it a really good deal. Overall, I think this is a great monitor for anyone who is looking out for gaming monitors, especially in the budget category. And for anyone who is looking at the review after buying this monitor, give yourself a pat on the back because you have made a very good choice. We have provided links in the description for updated and current prices. If you want to support us, please consider subscribing and liking the video. It would massively help us out and also help you out because you know, you could enter the giveaway and who knows, you might actually win it. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed the video and let us know down in the comment section below if you guys have any questions regarding the monitor and see you guys in the next video.